G'day everybody and welcome to another YouTube video review. Today we're going to have a real quick look at a Avengers Infinity War figure. This is the Titan Hero series and this is the Thanos figure. Now, a little different to the uh, the interactive um, Titan series that we had for Civil War uh, and I think the uh, the last Avengers movie, um, I, Age of Ultron. Uh, the figures here don't talk unless you have this sort of pack um, on the back that you clip in there. So... They call it the uh, Titan Hero Power Effects Iron Man. So if you buy that, you'll get the backpack attachment. And then when you clip on the back, the uh, voice and uh, sounds come through the actual backpack. Not a big fan of that one. I would have preferred them to, uh, to stick with the line that they had before, where you just push the button on the figure and you get the sound. And I really like the way that the, uh, the other ones interacted with each other through the infrared, but uh, obviously taking it in a different direction. So back of the box there, you can see Thanos imposing with the Infinity Gauntlets. Uh, a mighty being bent on universal destruction and he really does um, come out as a really good figure so you can see the package artwork there and we'll have a look at the figure so you've got a nice head sculpt there you've got the detailed lines now for those who wanted to you could probably um, you know make up some some purple paint and, and do some uh, brushing or some weathering through there to really accentuate the the lines on the face but uh, quite nice not too much in the head pivot. You get a bit of a tilt up and down, but there's no way he's really turning left and right due to the the plastic um, collar that he has there, which really contains the head movement. Um, arms, you can go back and forward. You can see there, no bend at the elbow, which is a little bit disappointing, but I suppose for a $20 plastic mold figure, you can't argue. The glove itself is really, really impressive. You can see the level of detailing there. All the gems uh, nicely painted on. But uh, no open palm there, it's just, and no swivel either. You can't rotate, can't even rotate at the wrist here. You can on the other hand, so a little bit of movement there, but um, very limited. It's pretty much a, a five point uh, articulation figure. You can do the splits with him, so it's quite interesting that his legs go sideways, uh, but also go backwards and forwards as well. But uh, all in all, as I said, if you're just looking to display a Thanos, probably a movie accurate theory of Thanos, uh, for $20 it's not a bad pickup. Uh, especially, it does stand rather nice in scale to the other Titan FX figures. So there's my Hulkbuster. And um, as I would expect, Hulkbuster would be bigger than Thanos. But you can do the, uh, the stand down, which hopefully we will see sometime in the movie when it releases in about four weeks' time. But anyway, um, thanks for watching. Keep subscribing. Uh, if you haven't already, check out the other videos that I've done recently. So a couple of new pops, Thanos and his gang, uh, a couple of Gamerverse pops, and what have we got over here? A couple of figures, Janus Solo and Wolverine. So anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Really appreciate um, all the comments and questions and, and just people, you know, sharing good, good vibes. So it's really nice. And uh, as I said, if there's anything in the room here that you can see, that uh, you can't find reviewed on the channel, let me know and I'll try to get around to doing a review. But anyway, thanks for watching. Keep subscribing. Cheers.